All right, friends, it's time for Foodie Friday. And as we mentioned earlier in the show, June is National Soul Food Month. The heritage of soul food can be traced back generations. Enslaved African Americans were able to create these meals from less than desirable cuts of meat and produce. And now it's something, though, that brings people together from different walks of life. And this morning, we are joined by local chef Richard Conklin to talk about this cuisine and what he loves the most about it. Y'all check out this spread. And like Daniel said earlier, it smells so good in here. Yes, yes, yes. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> All right. So before we dig in, what is soul food to you? Um, as a chef cooking for so many years, I always say if you're not cooking with soul, it's not soul food. Mm. Um, because when you look at the history and where it was birthed, mm -hmm. it was birthed through tragedy, it was birthed through slavery. Mm -hmm. So, you know, when everybody was done cooking and, and, and ate what they had to eat, the leftovers was given to the slaves. Mm. You know, pieces of chicken, leg, thigh, wing, breast. Uh, the organs, yeah. if, you, if you like chicken livers or chicken gizzards, that's where all that comes from, mm -hmm. you know. Um, and back then, you know, the ribs from, from the pig, mm -hmm. you know, that's a staple for, for, for um, right. soul food cooking, barbecue ribs. Um, and, you know, back then they didn't have Larry season salt. Mm. So, <laughs> they didn't have the Larry's now. You know, so mm -hmm. they would have to go in the fields and they would have to pick fresh vegetables, collard greens, yams out and come back and come together and, and, and cook a nice soul food meal. Yeah, and what I love is that uh, something that was born out of tragedy has turned into something that is, uh, Absolutely. we've reclaimed that narrative and turned it into- I take it, it very a, seriously right? when I cook. When a, I cook, yeah. A celebratory moment. And so yeah. you have a spread for us today. What we got going on? Um, a staple, mac and cheese. Come on, mac and cheese. Daniel <laughs> did know that mac and cheese was a soul food. Yes. Did you hear Daniel talk about turkey? I heard that, I laughed. So, Chef Rick, Richard, you don't agree with a turkey dressing, huh? Oh, I love turkey. And but not a soul food. But not a soul okay. food. No, <laughs> no, no. <laughs> My wife said the same thing. <laughs> okay, so we got our mac and cheese. What else? You got your uh, fresh collard greens. Mm. And of course, everybody loves chicken. I know I love chicken. I, I don't know about you. I love fried chicken. <laughs> now, you are going to show us how the best way is to get the batter and the breading on this chicken. Because I see all, all our ingredients laid out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is how I started. I started cooking at the age of six. Wow. So my, my grandmother, this is the first thing I've ever cooked was fried chicken. Okay. So, you know, I looked, you know, did some research and, and one of the ways that they marinated was with buttermilk. Mm. So, you know, they would get a little salt, a little cracked black pepper, a little fresh garlic, mm -hmm. you know, the basic seasonings that, you know, you would use. Um, and I bought a little something extra, little slap your mama. Y'all, uh, it's really called slap your mama. <laughs> it's really called slap your mama. A, I love a, that. Put a little little kick in it. And mm. they would just, you know, take this and they would marinate this. Yeah. You know, you can do it overnight. I, I like to do it overnight. I was about to say, what's the best way for it to yeah, absorb overnight. the flavor? Is it overnight? Yeah, overnight. Let it soak, let it marinate. And I've already dredged. And you know, when you get ready to cook it, you dredge it in a little flour. Mm-hmm. And then you know you go you go ahead and put it in your little pan. Now let me ask do you this: Do a little this. pan fry. Do you um do you put seasoning in the flour sometimes? Yes, I do. Okay. Yes, I do. A little salt, pepper, mm -hmm. paprika, garlic powder, onion powder. Look, you know the basics. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes. And then we got to ask you this: This is such a controversial topic nowadays. You wash your chicken? I do. I do. <laughs> well, also tell them what do you do after you wash a chicken? Uh, you you got to sanitize. You got to clean up. Come on. And, and that's why, you know, they say don't don't wash the chicken because everybody don't know the food safety procedures. Mm -hmm. You know, somebody can end up getting sick. But Right, you know. right. Daniel. But um, I wash my chicken. I, see, I wash. Me and mine, we wash our chicken as well. <laughs> uh, now, then. Daniel, you gonna flip the chicken eventually? I, I'm standing back and letting the expert do it. <laughs> <laughs> he already told me not to put my hand on the stuff. Yeah, yeah, right, don't yourself. Right, right, right. So, you know, the most favorite part of it is is once everything, you know, and, and when it comes to the fried chicken, you know, my grandmother every weekend would cook, literally mm. for the community. Wow. So, you know, soul food to me is like, it, it's, it's love, it's the connection, mm. you know, that brings everybody together. And that's that's how I grew up. Yeah. So my favorite part was let's eat time. Come on, let's eat. <laughs> Listen, I'm ready. I'm ready to go. All right, we got to wrap it up. Unfortunately, I'm going to go ahead and hand Daniel this yeah. uh, fork over here. Um, mm -hmm. I'm going to go ahead and... A little mac and cheese. Little mac Look at that plate. Oh, look wow. at that. And a little piece of chicken. Some fried chicken. Ooh. See, you got the big piece for me because you already know. Uh -huh. You I already are? know. <laughs> he already knows. I like to eat, y'all. What's your favorite part of the chicken? Um, a wing. 
a wing seat. There yes, sir. Go. All right, uh -huh. so I'm gonna get, I'm gonna dig in. All right, uh, Chef Richard, real quick, so we gotta toss the break. Where can folks get in contact with you? Uh, you reach out to me on my Facebook page, Chef Richard Conklin. <laughs> <laughs> Or my new Instagram page. You know it's good if we're This is Chef underscore Rich Chef underscore Rich SC. All right, perfect. Thank you so much, Chef Richard. Daniel, I'm going to let you toss the break. I'm going to keep eating. All right, more news tonight. Hey, tell us your favorite soul food dish, too. 776-9508. We'll have much more news and weather coming up right after this short break.